We, we did this demo and um, Warner Brothers Records was always the label that had all the artists that I loved. That we loved. So I would, you know, in those days you sent letters, you know, not email. They were actual letters. Right. So I sent letters and made phone calls. And um, there was a woman in A&R at Warner Brothers named Mary Martin. And ironically enough, Mary Martin signed us at RCA Records almost 20 years later. But she didn't sign us to Warner Brothers. And she never had a chance to sign us to Warner Brothers because the three of us had this demo tape. We got off, we were somewhere in Manhattan, we got off at the fifth floor, we walk out, well Warner Brothers is on the seventh or eighth floor, but we th I thought it was on the fifth floor, and there's this office door open, <laughs> and there's this woman sitting at a desk, and so I poke my head in, and you know, and, and Kathy and Alan are like behind me, and I'm going, can you tell me where Warner Brothers Records is at? And she goes, um, well it's not on this floor, but why are you going there? And I said, well, we have an appointment with Mary Martin. And she goes, you have an appointment with Mary Martin for, for what? And I said, well, we're, we're a group and she's going to listen to our music. And she goes, well, do you want to play your music for me? And so I turned and I said, well, sure, we'll play your music. Okay. So we went in, she put on the tape, she, the song was over, she picks up the phone and she goes, dad, you have to sign this act. She goes, they I wandered, they wandered into my yet. office. I don't even know what office we're in yet. And so What's your name? she Excuse hangs me? up the phone and she said, my, dad, my dad's really interested. And I told him that we need to sign you. And I said, well, who's your dad? And she goes, Jerry Wexler, Atlantic <laughs> Records. So we got a deal on Atlantic Records in 1975. And life, we put that song out as a single. And um, we had a short-lived short career. Doug Morris was our, our A&R mm -hmm. person. But we did meet Kyle Lenninger, future yeah, producer. Yeah, we started setting that, seeds. Because uh, Kyle was working with England Dan and John Ford Coley at the time. And uh, we liked his record, so we said, we should get Kyle. And we found out he lived in Nashville. And we never met with Mary Martin, which is <laughs> really ironic, <laughs> until we came to Nashville in 1986. So you finally meet Mary Martin after 20 years. Right. Did you ever tell Mary the story about how you oh, got yeah. way late oh, on yeah. the next oh, yeah. floor and didn't get to the seventh We showed her floor. the letter, yeah. which was even better that, than with, that. With the appointment, you know. Yeah. And but that Mary we had. was our, our champion there.